Um, so, uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you with the sold out concerts in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's great. It's and, awesome. And we're going to start the interview with a more recent topic. Okay. Um, in your latest albums, uh, we can notice that you use uh, more electronic uh, sound effects than you used to. Mm -hmm. And what I would like to know is, is there a possibility for Poets of the Fall to drift away from the traditional rock sound? I think whenever you listen to Poets of the Fall, like new stuff, there's something new coming, something that we are experimenting with. And uh, it's it's always a kind of drift because you live on and, and, and you see things that at some certain points they start to interest you and you want to experiment, you want to do something. So maybe, but as far as drifting away from uh, our traditional sound, probably the sound will evolve over time, but we'll probably always be the same band that we've always been, you know. I mean, even that you can listen to me 15 years ago and listen to me today, and there is a difference to the sound, but still it's recognizable. It's still me, yes, you yes. know. And that's I think that's the same thing with the rest of the music as well, you know. And of course, when you do something like this, it's, it's your form of expression, it's your, your art form. You want to evolve, you want to do th different things and, and not just keep repeating yourself. That would be madness, yes. you know, so. So in the past you have said that you would like to collaborate with such musicians uh, like Anastasia, uh, Sebastian back from Skid Row and you too. Uh, what we would like to know is, has the list changed from the time with any maybe newcomers or Finnish singers? Um, every now and then we do get um, reasonable suggestions of doing uh, duets or stuff with other people and uh, and sometimes we it's possible we have time for it and we like the music and stuff but uh, as as far as uh, as who I think are great artists you know, the ones that I thought were great artists back way back then they're still great artists so I would still love to do the duets and whatever you know collaborations with the artists that I've mentioned you know but uh, but every now and then you kind of also bump into new uh, new faces and uh, new artists, so you go like, wow, that's really cool. But then, you know, reality hits and then you realize that you, there's only that many hours in a day and they're pretty packed, so, you know, maybe one day, we, you know, we'll see. We'll see okay. yeah. uh, when you were writing the song War, uh, you've told way, way back uh, that when you were writing it, you had a vision of what the song would sound like in the end. Mm. And when you showed the lyrics to Oli, mm. he started to play his guitar and the tune that he was playing was pretty similar to the one that you pictured and that was pretty spooky yeah yeah the way the way it went was that i was uh, i was playing when i was writing the song i was playing something different and uh and then the next day when i went to the studio and i said i was doing this uh, new song last night and all he said yeah i was actually doing a, another song himself last night and I said, okay play it and he started playing that mm -hmm. and it was so freaking eerie when I realized that he was playing the same tune that I was kind of like, I was singing, I said, wait, I'll just put my guitar away and I'll sing it, you know, and I started going like, do you remember standing on a yes. broken field? And it, it fit right there and it was like, whoa, I'm, I'm still getting the chills, you know, you should see my skin, it's like the hair, hairs are standing on end. So that, that sometimes happens and it's, it's really, awesome you know it, you just have to love it you know something like that happens uh, do you have any similar stories to that one yeah there have been like um when we wrote the um maybe Tom tomorrow is a better day mm -hmm. like way back when in 2005 or something yeah that was a similar kind of thing as well because uh i think it was it was kind of the same thing he started playing and i was like this sounds kind of familiar and the the, the melody and and almost even the lyrics that we used for, for Maybe Tomorrow is a Better Day was a, was a song that I'd written like when I was 17. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I just went, I have this, I still have it, I have this pile of old songs and lyrics that I've written over the years since I was, I don't know, 15 or something. And I went to that one, I still have it, it's, it's right there where I work at the studio and I have that and I sometimes leave through it. And and I found that lyric there, and I took it out, and then I started tweaking it. But it was like one of those things as well, you know. So it, sometimes it happens. Partly, I think, because we are also very in tune with our style. So if one person in, in another place does something, it chances are that there's something similar coming from, you know, another one of us. And Same spirit means a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that. I like that. 
Yeah. There was there was one more in, on this uh, on on the ultraviolet, but I, I'm just like, and I've even written about it. Someone asked about it, and I, I answered the question, but I don't remember which one it is now. <laughs> you know, some of you guys probably know it better than I do because I tend to forget. That's human. Yeah. So okay, uh, you've done uh, a lot of covers. Uh, like Chris Cornell's You Know My Name, uh, Adele's Roll in the Deep, and fans liked it very much. So uh, tell me, please, uh, why don't you do more covers? Time? Yeah. Like of Sam? Seriously, I mean, we have a list of songs that we'd love to do. Mm -hmm. Those two, we had an awesome um, chance to do them because they were kind of commissioned. So it's like, come to this program and, and do this thing, and it's it's like a huge thing. and and, and uh, those two songs that we did are, are some of our favorites, you know, so we really love them and, uh, and that's why we sort of figure that now's a good time to do a cover of those things. Maybe later we'll have some, some more time to do uh, covers of other songs. But it's also the fact that when you want to write your own music and there's, you know, it's a constant stream, you know, it's, it's playing in your head. You want to get them out and get them on paper, get them on, 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 uh, on albums and out there for, for all of you guys to uh, listen to. So time is of essence here. It's, it's really weird. Can you name a couple of songs that you would like to cover? Oh, yeah, like Ordinary World from... Uh, um, Duran Duran. Duran Duran, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. That, that's one that we've been talking about. Uh, Running up that hill from uh, Kate Bush. Oh, songs like that. You know, it's awesome tunes. You know, and there are probably a lot more if you if I just start thinking about them. You know. Well, we'll be waiting anytime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not promising anything about those <laughs> two, but I, I really hope that at some yeah, point. Yeah, we're not we announcing get, anything. Yeah, <laughs> not right now. But I'm really hoping that we get down to it someday. Yeah. So, uh, would you like to uh, write a score to a TV series or a movie? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 That would be so great. You know. I mean, it's it's definitely even just uh, we've done that kind of work, you know, earlier, and it's uh, it's it's really cool. But it's also nice when you have that sort of chance and that time to take and and go a different path because it also you get to explore stuff, but it also. Um, it makes you grow as an artist. It, it, you really get to sort of uh, just look in the places you haven't looked before and go like, whoa, what's here? It's like, uh, oh, what the fuck is that? You know, all that kind of crap, you know? And, uh, and then you play with it and it'll, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know? So, and it's also a nice move away from, from what we do, you know, with Poets of the Fall every day because, you know, that can also get tiring at some point going like, oh, we're doing this. Can we do something else, you know? So, yeah. Why not? Uh, do you plan to work with the video game industry in the future? Do we plan? Yeah. You plan? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, oh okay. okay. It's nice to hear it. Uh, with the next album, the one word name Trilogy would be over. And what we'd like to know is, are you going to keep the trilogy in the future? Trilogy concept, I mean. Um, yeah, I could answer that, but I'm not really sure if it would spoil the... Uh, the whole thing for you, but yeah, it's true that this uh, the next album will be the end of the third trilogy, and uh, we'll see what happens next. Great. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what is the country that delivers the most quality in its musicians and its audience as well? What is the country? Yes. Wow, that is a tough one. I mean, if you think about it, <coughs> there are so many varied musical traditions globally all over the world and if you really delve into one of those it doesn't matter where it's from it can be really rich I mean it can be just like drumming from some part of the world without m much more than just the beat and that can that can be a world in itself so I'm not really saying that it's one country or the next country I think that uh, the deeper you go into a topic into a subject the more you're gonna you know, get out of it, the more you're going to find from that. So I, th I think it's just music is, a as you probably have uh, gathered by, by now yourselves, it's, it's a very, very universal language, you know, and people can understand it, it despite the language. Even if I didn't sing, if I was just like humming, you know, that would, uh, that would already get across, get across to people and make a difference. So it's one of those things that I find that we should appreciate as much as we can and then give ourselves to uh, the opportunity to listen and sort of get to uh, feel the music because I think it's ultimately music is something that you feel. It's not something you intellectual about, uh, intellectualize about. Great answer. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, uh, can you explain to us uh, how Russian fans differ from the others 
and uh, you it, guys are crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah very yeah. moment and if you have any cool stories linked to them uh, can you maybe you can share something with us oh yeah i mean definitely the crazy part is is it's true it's but it's in, in a good way completely good way because i mean it's it's lovely you, you get to come like before we started this uh, interview and and we talked about coming here it's like coming to a living room full of your your, your new good friends and everybody's like flaming hot and and they're all into the music they all know the lyrics and so much fun to get up on stage knowing that everybody's gonna have a good time so you know Thank you guys for that. It's really an inspiration to us, you know. So thanks. Uh, can you name some of your favorite writers? Like uh, writer writers. Writer writers. <laughs> wow. Mm. The weird thing is that uh, when it comes to poets, I'm I'm kind of a handicap because I haven't really read that much poetry, per se. <laughs> well, know. it's funny, you know. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's one of those things, you know. Uh, but then I do read constantly, like, well, well this is probably going to spoil it for you, but right now I'm reading the Witcher novels because they're awesome, you know? Great, yeah. great choice. Yeah, so uh, Sapkowski is definitely, he writes he writes really well, yes. you know, so that's one of my favorites at the time, but I, I'm the kind of person who reads 20 books at the time, you know, I have 20 books and they're all open and I just choose one and I keep reading. Just taking one book and reading it one go, it's like oh, 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 oh no, something else. You have to keep a lot of choice for yeah. yourself. Yeah. And I have I have facts and I have fiction. I'm I'm learning whether it's I, I read something that's got to do with law or maybe it's something that's got to do with I don't know medicine or maybe it's something that's got to do with uh, astronomy because it interests me. And then I, I read a book or two about it. And, and, and But in, in the middle, I might read some Witcher books. I might read some other fantasy, whatever, you know, kind of like that. And uh, so it's uh, for me, reading is one of those pastimes that I really, really love. And I, I, I do want to take time off from my day to just like, you know, shut up, get out of here. I want to read, you know, that's my thing. But then when I start reading, I usually fall asleep within five minutes. <laughs> Unless it's like a really, really captivating book, you know. Well, it's uh, just exciting how you could manage to read uh, 20 books at a time with your packed schedule. Oh, yeah, because they're all in almost all here. Yeah, yeah. nanotechnologies. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's awesome. You just, you know, flip through, oh, this one oh. today. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> you know, so that's it. Uh, with your uh, graphic designer background, I would like to know what are the best five music band logos? Wow, um, Marilyn Manson, uh, Lenny Kravitz, Foo Fighters, mm, those are the ones that I really have liked in the past. Metallica is awesome and uh, ACDC and now that you got me started I could keep going but <laughs> those are the five. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, this was amazing. Yeah, yeah it was. Time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, lastly, but not least, uh, I would like to give you a present. Wow. Oh, cool. Yes, so it's a... Bag. Yes, <laughs> I would like to give you this plastic bag. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an awesome It's blue. a vinyl <laughs> record of wow. Aram Khachaturian. Wow. I don't know if you're familiar with him. I'm, I'm not, but I will be. Yeah, he's, uh, he's one of the finest USSR composers. Yes, so I hope you enjoy it. Wow, thank you. This is awesome. Can I keep the back too? Yes, of course. <laughs> because I Just mean, I don't want to spoil this. Like, get it. Yes, the package is a little is yeah. a little bit banged up because just uh, it's like 40 years old. But yeah, but that but gives the insides, character. That yes, definitely. yes. Definitely, yeah, it's awesome. But so, the insides are good. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for Thanks. your time.